Hello, friends. Good morning. I was all dressed to start digging my tunnel, but I learned that they're on to us Jews. Wait, 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 wait. What? So you want to convert to Judaism. Ancient Jewish sources have one piece of advice. Don't. Seriously. Go watch a cat video or, or check the fridge. See what's on TV. Converting to Judaism is a big deal. So big that some commentators say when anyone asks to convert, you should tell them no three times. These days, there's a lot less pressure. You can start learning about Judaism, and if at any point you decide it's not for you, as the sages say, no biggie. But if you're thinking of dipping in, the first step is studying. Jews are the people of the book, after all. Read up on it. Join a Torah study group. Hit the library. Meet with some rabbis. Talk to Jews, different kinds of Jews. Get different opinions. Know what you're getting into before you get into it. You can even, I don't know, look online. And as you're learning about stuff, try it. Go to a Shabbat dinner. Visit a few synagogues. Try eating only kosher foods for a few days. Step two is patience. You'll find a rabbi who will sponsor you and probably counsel and teach you. Finding the right rabbi can be like dating. Not everyone is going to be the right fit. Converting can take months or years. There's no single path. But if you've made it this far, you probably know that already. No matter what path you take to conversion, you'll have to learn a lot of stuff. Even if you don't plan on doing everything, you should be aware of it. After all, it's about to be your 3,000 years of glorious tradition, too. Three, you'll appear before a Beit Deen. They'll ask you questions to make sure you're ready. Some of them can be kind of personal. Three and a half. Traditionally, men next undergo Mila, circumcision. It's performed by a physician assisted by a moil who's responsible for the religious part. Now, if you're already circumcised, there's a ceremonial drop of blood taken. If you're nervous about this, it's a really good idea to talk to someone who's been through it. If you're a woman, there is no step three and a half. Step four, everyone receives a new Hebrew name. Step five, go swimming. You'll perform tevila, or immerse yourself completely underwater in a mikvah. And now the Beit Din will tell you, you're a Jew. There's a lifetime of things to do now. You know, the things that all Jews do. Mazel tov. Welcome to the tribe. Goodbye, friend.